place. Um, no. Ah, God. Here I am, right back in the same problem. Jeez. This is the thing. Okay, so. Info? No. Game, you are really pissing me off here. This is some. This is some old BS. Come on, man. Why? Come on. There's like a limited number of ways that you could do this. Drag and drop? Can't drag and drop. Well, you can't use the pith, and you can't use this frickin' thing. There's nothing else. There's nothing else. You fucking bastard. You're wasting my time. You're making my LP suck more than normal. Can I move over here. I'm gonna break this thing. Where's my friggin' smash option? Filter device. Um. Do that. This is stupid. This is stupid. What the double dagger? Huh? What? I don't get it. I guess I'll just have to read up some more on it. At least I haven't accidentally destroyed my pith extract yet. I'm kind of surprised by that. I figured that was pretty much inevitable, but, um,. Thing that you can do. God, I just stupid game. Ruining my enjoyment because it's just like sitting here and I'm trying to do this, and it's even worse because I'm doing a LP. So now you're making me look stupid. Yeah, but if one of you has done that before and you know how to properly do it, let me know. I guess because. Uh, you know what? I don't think the game hinges upon that, so either way, let's use Lod's Rod, and we'll go back over to the, uh... Do -do -do. Cedrite Village? Which is my command, Master. You're dang right it is. So, sorry for the little bit of cussing. I, I do try to stop cut, to not cuss, but, uh... Yeah. At least there's not too much, I guess. Can you say, oh no! <laughs> You're violating a pillow again. Stop it! Or I suppose they're grinding some stone? Just looks unfortunate. Yes? What is it? Who are you? I'm Lukian, the village's lore master. Not that we have time for such things with the bandits making survival impossible. Um, have you ever heard of a terror bloom? What would you want with a terror bloom? They're only good for death. I'm on a quest to find one, which was in the Red Sands, if you remember. That's where we got that. Well, I suppose I'll have to trust you to know what you're doing. A terror bloom is a magical plant which only occurs under special circumstances. How do I find one? It is not so much a matter of finding the bloom as it is of growing one. The only way to produce a terror bloom is to slay a rampager in the shade of a serpent tree. You'll have to get a rampager to come after you. Where can I find a serpent tree? The only serpent tree I know of grows in the northwest corner of the village. How do I get a rampager near the tree? True, true to their names, rampagers are easily provoked. They live only to destroy the works of man. Attracting it is simply a matter of announcing your presence. You can take that horn to the serpent tree and blow it if that's what you want. Just banging on the serpent tree is likely to be enough, though. Um, okay. Why do you say they are bad? Tear blooms are the primary ingredient for making certain types of daggers, ones which poison the victim. I am adverse to anything which is designed solely to inflict death. Um, so will you help me get it? Obviously not. I have helped you enough against my better judgment. Perhaps this Uskuye would go with you. He has always been one for such escapades. <laughs> um, so sometimes I amuse myself. Um, that's all I'm interested. I don't want to know what you're doing. Really, don't, don't, don't want to know. 
you know? Hello, fellow warrior. That was quite the fight you had against those wyverns and their riders. Not that I haven't seen a few of them myself. God, man, just going through a very small stable of accents. And I haven't planned this ahead of time, otherwise I'd have more and better ones, I guess. Um... Oh, okay. Who are you? I am the village sub-leader, Eskuye, in charge of the warriors in defense of Sedrai. Uh, are you a good fighter? The best in Sedrai and many other places. That's why I'm here instead of with them right now. My sword arm is needed to protect the village. Will you help me fight a rampager? That is a challenge I can't refuse. In fact, you can't keep me from such an exciting opportunity. Okay. So he's gonna come with us now. Uh, I suppose I might as well save at this point. I don't know if the rampager is actually gonna be hard or not. Or I may just be defeated by... Uh... Uh... Hold on, let me save that again, because I put the wrong name, so I get confused. I could get just get defeated by a, a recording gremlin. One never knows, it's always a possibility. Not nearly remote enough of a possibility at that. So, uh, here we go, over here. This is where the rampagers are, I guess. So, yeah, uh, actually, let this guy get over here. I don't, I, you know, I kind of doubt he'll really help us that much, but. So, we should have a horn, as I recall. Looks like a macaroni and cheese thing. Just blow that. I have to assume that's it, what we're wanting. Where's the rampager? That's a good question. Oh, there it is. Uh, let's see, let's put him over here. Whoa, why does he have so much move? That's... Do you see that? Do you see that? He had like 25 move. Um, we need to kill this guy near the tree, so I'm just going to put him on guard. Why are these guys? What the heck? What are these shadows? Hold on. What is going on? What's all this? Wow, I had no clue. That this would, I didn't expect, like, all the friggin stuff to die. Otherwise I would have sent friend kill can out there to um guess we better send her over here to deal with these things. I really didn't want all the villagers to get killed. You crazy man. Uh send Kornak over here with her. I guess that explains why we started off with so much movement available. Wow. And our armor was corroded. That pretty much sucks. I still don't know why we have so much movement. It's pretty much insane. Alright. I don't know what's going on. I'm pretty well perplexed as to why it is that we're, like, hasted. We're on, like, mega haste. She's about to die. That thing is, like, wicked. Yeah, this was, uh... less of an amazing idea than I... had conceived at first. Wow, I'm better off having that guy go fight the lesser things in this thing. Than this. Uh, yeah, this is going to be a tougher fight than I thought at first, so I think we're going to need a little bit of uh, replay on this. I don't know if we're even going to win. This thing looks like it could pretty much kill us easily. Huh? There's the terror balloon. Now it's just a matter of defeating the rest of this crap. 
Hold on. I'm gonna use the map. Go over here to fight these shadows so that they don't kill any important NPCs or anything. Dude's got a ridiculous amount of move. That was unexpected. Oh, hold on. So before we go getting ourselves all messed up, what's going on here with the cleric things? What did he have? His level drained, or I don't know. Y one is in red. I think that's just normal. Um. So I don't know if her armor will stay corroded or what. Yeah. Uh, cell adjustment. Here we go. Oh, that's pretty weak. Better than nothing though. Probably have to use a authentic healing spell. Wow, nothing like watching me heal myself two hit points at a time, is it? Uh, she's just got mage and sonic. So this is the cleric. Uh, uh cure light wounds. Um, I think the white ones are like the cure spells. So that's a little bit of a guide. Once you understand that sort of thing, it might help a bit. Yeah. Always in, in like, early D&D, &D, healing is just really underwhelming. It's like, it takes you forever to heal, and it's not very powerful. Especially when you got 100 HP. I mean, that's just like starts to be pretty tedious but anyway we just need to kill these shades and then we can uh, then we could probably just rest at that campfire ring so that all worked out nobody died so it's all good right it's doing pretty good all of a sudden we still seem to be hasted so we got our terror bloom that's good um, good indeed uh, party rests, that's good stuff, and uh, with that I think we'll just save. Um, yeah, hopefully nobody important got killed, let me see, let me make sure of that. I'm a little vexed by the fact that, uh-huh, 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 that's, I don't know where that dude went, but I don't think we need him anymore. Um, yeah, no, I think everybody important is still alive, so that's good. So this guy over here is important. That's the that's the dude she told us to talk to about going into the caves or getting no getting to the castle. That was a bit of player knowledge there. And this is the leader, so those are the two important people at this point. Um, this is the well. Anyway, so uh, yeah, let me see. Um, so I saved and. Uh, with that, I will say, um, this is Bezlinir signing out of another es episode of Let's Play Dark Sun Shattered Lands. I hope you enjoyed watching, and I'll see